because the risk of not suppressing that inflammation is an increased risk of a heart attack, which could be fatal. And so there are times where suppressing inflammation short term might be the most appropriate thing. There are uh, pharmaceutical medications that can do that. There are over the counter medications that can do that. Things like ibuprofen, Aleve, that kind of stuff. And then there are the herbs and supplements that can be beneficial in helping to bring down inflammation. Curcumin being one of the most commonly used or widely used. And so we have to understand that the degree of inflammation suppression we want is going to help dictate which of those we look at. So for example, if I have a patient in my office who has excessive body-wide inflammation, let's say it's rheumatoid arthritis, and they also have a high risk of having a heart attack or a stroke, I'm more likely going to choose a more aggressive anti-inflammatory in order to decrease the risk of them having a heart attack as opposed to a milder form like curcumin. Now, if a patient comes in with the same condition, but their, their body-wide inflammation, which we can roughly measure with things like CRP, ESR, things like that, if it's just mildly elevated, then maybe we don't need to go to a full pharmaceutical anti-inflammatory in order to bring inflammation levels down. <music>